Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles, a channel where I try and bring you variant Sudoku that will showcase the fun that this hobby can be. Now, this is a series called Sudoku U, and Sudoku U is basically Sudoku University, and it's not me trying to teach anything weird. What it is, is me saying, these are puzzles that are created by students of university classes, which are based around teaching puzzles and logic. Um, and this particular series, I believe all of the puzzles in this one come from Full Deck and Missing a Few Cards as Puzzles and Paradoxes class. So um, these are classes where students are brought together to be able to teach how to think logically and how to, um, yeah, I, I, I don't want to come up with a precy that's wrong, but teaching logic and teaching critical thinking is an important part um, and, and problem solving is an important part of thinking. It's something that I was taught not using puzzles when I was in university and I have used almost every day in my career. Problem solving and problem management is a huge part of what I do. Um, and therefore, doing um, problem solving and actually thinking logically is a skill that unfortunately isn't taught enough. So I love the fact that they're using puzzles to teach logical thinking, um, particularly for people who are wanting to go into maths and stuff like that. I, I think it's wonderful. So this series of puzzles, the Sudoku U series, there is a playlist on my channel for it, um, is all about puzzles that have been created by those students. Now, the interesting thing about this series, of course, is these are people who've not been necessarily making puzzles for that long. A lot of the puzzles you see on the on many channels have been made by people who've been doing this as a hobby for a very long time. A lot of the puzzles you will see in this series are from people who have made them as part of their course material, and therefore they've made, maybe only made a few puzzles in their entire time, and these are the ones that were selected to go into the book that these are going to be part of, Signet Sudoku Volume 3. Now, I've been sent a preview um, of many of the puzzles from the book, and this is one of them. So let's have a look at this puzzle, which showcases the cages constraint, sometimes called killer cages, and the XV pairs constraint with the puzzle called Caged in XV by Congito. So how does this puzzle work? So we've got the cages constraint, which is um, digits that are placed in cages must sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage and digits cannot repeat within cages. So for example, the digits in these ca this cage must sum to 15, we could have deduced that already, but they must sum to 15, but you cannot repeat digits. So for example, we couldn't make both of those digits four and then make this a two and a five, a two and a five. Um, is that right? No, it's not. Um, but however that would work, uh, a six and a one? No, I'm not sure. But however that works, you can't do it by repeating digits. These can't be the same digit because um, that would um, break the rules. They don't see each other in the same row, column or box, but they do see each other in a cage, so they can't repeat. We've also got XV pairs, which means that cells separated by a V must contain two digits that sum to five. Cells separated by an X must sum two contain two digits that sum to 10. Um, and it is perfectly okay for other digit um, so, uh, other pairs to sum to five or 10. Um, and that's why it's called pairs. Originally, there was most of the original XV puzzles um, had negative constraints, which means that all of the possible Xs and Vs were given. And that's how this started. So a label was put on ones that didn't have that. So it'd be perfectly fine for this to be a three. Um, we don't need an X, but um, all we know is where there is an X, they must sum to 10. I'm now going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So there's an absolute gimme here. We know that the two the two digits that are put into those two cells must sum to five. If that's a one, that must be a four. These must sum to 10. If that's a four, that must be a six. Now this V clue is, is forced because there's only two ways of making five, which is one, four, and two, three. Because if you start at the bottom and count up one plus four, then you get to two plus three, then you get to three plus two, which is the same. So you're repeating, so you can stop. So this can't be one, four, because we can't repeat the four in the cage. So this must be two, three. So we know the sum of all of these digits. These digits here, hang on, this is broken. No, it's not. These digits here sum to 15. Um, this is me doing math wrong. These sum to 10, these sum to five, but all five of those cells sum to 22. So if they sum to 15, we're missing seven to get to 22. Now we know these digits here are one, two, three, and four because 
um, the only way to make V is with one, uh, is with one, four, or two, three, and all of those are on Vs. So this can't be a three, because if this is a three, this would have to be a seven, and if that's not a three, then that's not a two. Now, I could probably do something about this digit, because this sums to five, so those two digits have to sum to seven, because these two digits sum to sorry, this cage sums to 12, minus five, those have to sum to seven. If that's a four, that's a three, which it can't be. So that's not a four and that's not a one. If this is a three, this would have to be a four, which it couldn't be. If this is a three, yeah, these would have to sum to seven. If this is a three, this would be one, four, and then this would have to sum to, um, to make it seven, would have to sum to four. This can't be a three, which means this can't be a two. If this is a two, this would be a five. And if this is a one, this would have to be a six, which it can't be. So this is five, two, three, and there's no two, three here. This is one, four. If that's a one, that's a nine. If it's a four, it's a six. That's a really nice deduction. I like that. Now, how does this sum to 10? Because in order to sum to 10, you must use one digit below 5 and one digit above 5. Because you could use 1 plus 9, 2 plus 8, 3 plus 7, 4 plus 6. But 1, 2, and 4 are not available. So this is 3, 7. And the 7 here makes this the 3 and this the 7. These are two digits that sum to 9 because there's a 10 here. So I could use 1, 8. I can't use 2, 7. I can't use 3, 6. I could use 4, 5. So that's probably a bit overboard. These 15 cages, by the way, didn't need to have a total because I know those sum to 10 and those sum to 5. So these 15 cages are completely forced. Now, oh, this is a 2, 3 because it's a V that isn't 1, 4. Do I have another one? Yeah, this V is now forced because this is either a 1, 4 or a 2, 3, and it can't be 2, 3, because if this is 2, 3, all three of those cells in the column would be from 2 and 3, and I have to have nine unique digits in the column. So this is 1, 4, which means if this is a 1, this is a 9. If this is a 4, this is a 6. But I could figure out something about that digit. If this is 10 plus 1 plus 7, Hang on, this is 10. If this was a 4, this would be 14 plus 7, and I'm already at 21. So if this is 10 plus 4 plus 7, I'm broken. So this can't be a 4, because those would sum to 11, those would sum to 10, and this would have to be minus 1. That's 1, that's 4, that's 6. Very clever. I like it. So these sum to 18, and to get to 20, that has to be a 2. This V now can't be 1, 4, so it's 2, 3. Is it this X? What could this be? It can't be a low digit because all of the low digits are given. So this is the high digit on the X. So it's 6, 8, or 9, and it can't be 6 because of the 6 and the 7. So it can't be 6 or 7. So this is 1 or 2 to make the X work, but it can't be a 2 because of the 2, 3. That's the 1, that's the 9. So the nine makes that the six, which makes that the four and that the one. There's only two digits I haven't put in this box yet, five and eight. Now the one takes one out of both of those and these had to sum to nine. So they're not one, nine, they are four, five. And I'm not sure. So two is in one of those two. No, where's two in box nine? That the two that is in one of those two means I can't put two in any of those. So two is in one of those, but the two, three is also looking down saying that's not the two, that's the two. So this is a triple, six, eight, and nine. There's no six or nine in that cell. So that's the eight, and I can take the eight out of those. The six looks down, making that the nine and that the six. This is now a pair, uh, eight and nine. Okay, so this is a triple. I haven't placed one, four, or seven, and the one, four looks across, making that the seven, and I can take the seven out of those. Now, this can't be two, three, because of the two looking up. So this is one, four, and there's a one, and also a four looking across. So that's the four, that's the one. Now, this has to sum to 10, but it can't be one, nine, or four, six, because I've already used the one and the four. So this is either two, eight, or three, seven. Now, if it's two, uh, oh, 
actually, I can do more because the two is looking up, making that the three and that the two. This can't be the low digit. So this has to be the seven or the eight. This has to be the two or the three, which means this is the two or the three. And I'm not sure yet. Okay. But this is now a one, four, because there's two Vs in this column, and that one's the two, three, and the one makes that the four and that the one. Okay. Four is in one of those. These have to sum to 12, which is quite a high, uh, a high sum. So I can't use nine, three. Four is in one of those two. So if it's eight, four, it's eight, four. If it's, I don't know that it has to be seven, five. So it's either eight, four or seven, five. I can't do six, six or seven, five. They're the only possibilities. This is five, eight or nine. So I'm not sure about that one yet. So I need to do some Sudoku. Seven is in one of those two. Six is in one of those two by Sudoku. There will be a Sudoku thing I haven't looked at yet. Where is one in box one? That's going to be important because the two ones in these spots mean I can't put one in any of those and I can't put one in two digits that have to sum to 12. That's the one, that's the four. Two, three, and four sum to nine, so that needs to be the eight. The eight looks across making that the nine and that the eight, and I've already got an eight, nine in the, column, in the row now, so that's a five. Now, the four looks across making that the one and that the four. The eight in the box makes that seven, which makes that three and that two, just using the X's and the V's. And I think I've used most of the clues now. The four looks down, making that the five and that the four. The three here looks across, making that the two and that the three. And now I have, except for this two, three, but that's all just resolved down to a pair. So it's now just Sudoku. I say just, but uh, five, six, and nine are what those are, but there's no six in either of those. So that's the six, because I already have a six in the column. The five here can look across making that the nine and that the five. This is a pair of digits I haven't placed, which are six and eight. So this is a triple, two, seven, and nine. There's no two there and there's no seven there because aren't uh, digits looking up. That seems to be correct. So again, I'm looking for places of pressure. The seven looks down saying that's not the seven, that's the seven. There's a triple not placed in this column. I've got one, two, three, four. So five, eight, and nine are the digits I haven't placed. Now I can't put a nine there. So nine ah, or there. So this becomes the nine and this is a five, eight pair. Let's look at the triple in row nine. What I'm doing at this point and People say I'm bad at Sudoku, and they're not necessarily wrong, at least at classic Sudoku, is I normally look for rows, columns, or boxes where there's a lot of digits already placed, and I look to see if there's something I can do with that. Because what I haven't placed in this row is six, eight, and nine. Well, again, I can't place nine or, or eight there because there's a nine in the box and an eight in the column. So that becomes a six. I also find it's a little bit trickier and I'm a lot faster when I'm not explaining, but yeah. Whatever. I like explaining. So one, two, three, four. Um, so these are five, six, and seven. And you can see there's already a seven in row eight. So there's no seven there. This is the seven. This five, six pair, of course, is going to tell me what that digit is, which is the three I haven't placed. This now is a five, eight pair, and there's an eight looking down. So that's the five, that's the eight, that's the five. Now, can I do anything with these yet? Not sure. This box, I need to put two in it somewhere. That two is eliminating those. That two is eliminating that one. That is a two. And at this point, I like to just mark the triples and then eliminate from what's visible. So three, eight, and nine. Well, there's an eight and a three already in column one. So that's the nine and that comes out. And then... The five eight is looking across, making that the three and that the eight. This is a pair of digits, which is three and five. Not sure what to do there. This is a pair of digits because I've got one, two, three, four, five. So six and nine are what those are. But this is a triple, which is one, four and eight. And there's a one, four looking up. So that's the eight and I can take the eight out of those. The one is looking down, making that the four and that the one. The four isn't what's doing it, is it? 
So there's something in this, ah, the seven is looking up, making that the nine, which takes nine out of both of those, which as you can see, now makes that the two and that the seven. The two looks down, making, my mouse isn't working again, that the three and that the two, the three looks up, making that the five and that the three, the five looks down, making that the six and that the five, the six looks up, making that the eight and that the six. This has been resolved for a while, I could just see, with that being the eight and that the five, the six looks down, making that the nine and that the six, and the nine looks down, making that the eight and that the nine. Nice, easier puzzle. Now, this was an earth, uh, one of the earlier ones from the set I was given. Um, the puzzles that are set by the students tend to be on the easier side, not always, but tend to be. Um, and that's okay when you're exploring the constraints. Um, now, I believe part of it would be they're trying to um, explore puzzles that they can not just create. In this, I don't believe they create them in class. I don't know. I could be wrong about that. But they want puzzles that they can explore during a class. And they don't want one puzzle taking up an entire class. Um, but it's all about, you know, what is the logic that they're finding? And I thought this one was fine. Not all puzzles, and I, I will keep stressing this, not all puzzles need to be diabolically hard in order to have interesting logic in them. And if you want harder puzzles, there are places to go and find them. Um, but these next ones are likely to be a little bit easier, and I'm having fun with them so far. Thanks everyone for watching. Um, you'll probably see, I think the next six days are going to be part of Sudoku U. And as I said, there'll be a playlist pop up on the end screen, which I think has 40 more of these that have been done over the last couple of years. So um, yeah, good fun stuff. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you're enjoying these. And as always, good luck with your solving.